You've had a week or so now to reflect on the Champions League exit. Has anything changed in your assessment of the game? No, I think that it's it's always hard to watch a watch it back um, when a, a last minute goal and then a goal in extra time puts you out of that competition. There's no doubt about that. Players were disappointed, staff were disappointed. We all were at the club. Quickly in this game, though, you've got to move on. And listen, we're here now today, and, and it, it seems like a very, very quick turnaround. But I think that's a good thing. Um, so, yeah, it was disappointing to take. But in terms of the performance, we saw plenty of things that we needed to work on, but some really good bits as well. So, all in all, yeah, it was a, it was a tough one. But happy to be here now and, and happy to move on quickly and looking forward to the game tomorrow. And with such a cruel exit conceding so late at Windsor Park, has it been difficult to lift the players at all this week? Do you know what? Not at all. No, the players have been, ever since I've been here from day one, fantastic in terms of their professionalism, the way they go about their work, especially the motivation for Europe, which is why a lot of the players come and to play in Europe and, and us as staff as well. We really look forward to the European campaign. So although it was disappointing to, to lose the, the tie last week and lose the game, it's easy to pick these players up and motivate them because of their own self-motivation that they have for to work and play here and, and go on these experiences. So, yeah, so far it, it certainly hasn't been a problem at all. When the New Saints do lose a game, though, traditionally the squad always bounce back strongly. Naturally, you'll be hoping to do the same again tomorrow night. Yeah, without a doubt. And look, we know that the tie won't be decided by what the final score is tomorrow night. However, we want to come here and we want to try and win the game. Um, like we wanted to do last week, we, we want to be on the front foot. We want to defend as high as we can, but then understand that we're playing against a very good opposition who we've got a huge amount of respect for. I think they're an excellent team, plenty of attacking threats in their team, and they'll be looking to get on the front foot and make sure that score counts for them at home, and we need to be wary of that. But look, yeah, we want to come here and get the result the needs, which sets us up then to go and play at home, where we know our record is very, very good at home. And Vic and Gareykovic have had good results in European competitions already this season. They won the Champions League preliminary round, and only lost in the last round against Malmo by just a single goal. Uh, based on your research and assessment of the squad over this last week, what sort of game are you expecting tomorrow night? Yeah, I think a fast tempo game. Um, they're a team that do press high um, traditionally against most of the teams they play against. Um, they do flick between a 4-3-3 or a 4-4-2, 4-4-1-1 and a 5-4-1 that they've used a lot in Europe. That tends to be against the, the better sides they played. So against Malmo, they played that formation. And I thought it was a really good game against Melmo as well, against two good sides. So they can show when they're at their best level what they're like. Um, we've watched a lot of them in the league games as well. So, yeah, we're expecting a, a, an attacking contest where they get numbers forward, they break quickly, but they also build possession. They've got a lot of good ball players in the team too. So, yeah, I think, it, I think it, there could be goals in this game. There definitely could be goals in this game. We'll hope to try and keep, keep a clean sheet, do you know what I mean, and try, and try and score ourselves. But I think that it'll be quite an open game and quite an attacking game. And the Europa Conference League is a competition we did have really good success in last season. Uh, needless to say, you'll be hoping for another good run in the tournament this time around. Yeah, without a doubt. Listen, we've still got the same targets that we want to improve on last season. And, and this is going to be a tough ask and a tough task. They're a very good side. Um, probably an improvement on the side that we played last week in Linfield. And, and I thought Linfield were very good too. So, yeah, this will be tough, no doubt. But yeah, we want to go as far as we can in this competition, just like we did last season. And tomorrow's game is the first of two legs. What sort of approach are we likely to see? Will you be going all out to try and win the game or is it more about staying in the tie head of the second leg at Park Hall next week? Yeah, look, it's, it, it's both really. We want to attack at the right times, but we want to attack, but with a, a tactical structure and foundation that gives us the opportunity to, to stay in the game in terms of conceding goals. While we know this team can score, they've got plenty of attacking threats like I said before, but we'll be looking to get on the front foot at certain times in the game to try and take the game to the opposition because look, that, that's, that's how we play and that's the philosophy of how we play. So we want to attack and we want to, we want to build and we want to try and score goals as well. You named an unchanged side in Belfast last week. Will that be the same this time around or can we expect some changes? Yeah, look, listen, you, we'll have to see. Do you know what I mean? We've still got another training session to go before that game. So we'll be looking to see where people are fitness wise. It was obviously extra time in that game. So we might need to make a few changes. But then also there were plenty of players who played well in that game as well. So yeah, we'll have to see tomorrow night. And finally, Anthony, what's the situation looking like in terms of injuries and availability? Yeah, injuries are, are good in terms of the, the ones that we, we do have, we already know about. Um, unfortunately, Blaine Hudson won't be able to play due to um, a, a small injury that he's picked up but should hopefully be back for the, 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 next, the next leg at home um, but he won't be available for this, for this game um, but apart from that we're all good and ready to go